guys welcome back to the channel today's topic is going to be on one of my favorite quotes maybe it resonates with you maybe it doesn't but that is on day one or one day are you going to let another day pass where you're not taking action on the ultimate person you want to be that ultimate vision you have you know are you going to continue to play video games when you want to quit games and go you know get in the gym are you going to continue to eat and binge out on, for me, it was Ben and Jerry's ice cream, knowing that I wanted a lean and like rip physique, which I'm starting to really get to still got work to do, but I wanted to make this video today to just say, man, is it day one or is it going to be one day again? Because here's the thing, guys, is the time's going to pass anyway. Six months is going to pass. And you're either going to be exactly where you're at, if not worse, because that time passed and you continue to do your bad habits, or are you going to take action today? It's like one of the big things, and a lot of times when I'm making these videos now, it's like I'm speaking to my younger self, but it's like, I knew exactly what I needed to do. I just was avoiding the hard work. <clears throat> it's like, just look directly at that thing that you know you should do, but you're not doing. And, and that's the secret, man. It's like, you just go at it. It's like people expect a result when they're doing the complete opposite. You know, it's like, how are you expecting to get a lean physique and um, do all these other things when you're doing nothing that relates to them? It's as simple as if you want your dream physique, if you want to get stronger, it's like, go to the gym, follow a meal plan. Don't fall off. Don't drink a bunch of alcohol. Don't eat a bunch of terrible food stay consistent it's that simple it's like what is the hard part about that like what causes us as humans to not understand that the pain and every it's like you just go right through it you don't go around it so you don't go out here and consume a bunch of content on the best workout program and the best diet and all these different things like that can help you but eventually it's you know paralysis analysis you know you just spend a bunch of time and you get all this dopamine from like consuming content on the thing versus doing the thing. So like me with YouTube, for example, I would always like watch other YouTubers talking about building a channel and, you know, um, different like tack, you know, tactics and tips and all these things. But really, if I want to grow a YouTube channel and share things that are valuable, then I probably should just hit record and share things that are valuable instead of overthinking it. So it could, it could be like that with you, depending on what your goals are. You know, are you overthinking your goals to start a business? You've consumed all this business content, but maybe you just need to make the LLC. Maybe you need to create the PayPal account. You know, maybe you just need to start, man, and stop overthinking everything. So once again, get yourself a task planner, write out your daily plan, your daily goals. On Instagram, I've been posting a daily like quote or quote of the day. And today it was, you don't need to consume more content. You just need to tack, take action day one or one day. And so if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, uh, the link should be in this video or just type in Eric Fit on Instagram. I've been a lot more active on there as well. So yeah, I'm going to continue to bring you guys videos, you know, as they come to my mind, because ultimately I don't want to just make content about doing this type of bicep curl to build bigger biceps or this is the correct way to do a bench press it's like there's a thousand or million of those videos out there like i want to bring you guys content that i know can help my younger self and then maybe there's some people out there that were in my situation it's like it's really flipped in my brain that in order to reach the places that i want to go i got to have my vision and then I just need to stare right at the pain and go straight through it. It's like, do I wish I could still do those bad habits? Like literally used to eat a pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream nearly every single night. It's like, do I wish I could still do those? Do I wish I could still jump on the PC and, you know, play some video games and do all these other things? It's like, of course I still wish, you know, that I could do those things. But if my ultimate goal is to help men become their best version, through fitness, through self-improvement content, it's like, then I have to be a proof of product. Why are you guys gonna listen to me if I'm on here and I'm skinny or I'm fat or I'm just like telling you guys things that I'm not doing? It's like, no, I gotta be a proof of product. Right now I'm building up my physique. A lot of this right here is for myself, but it's also to, to be a proof of product. So when you guys watch my videos, you're like, this guy used to be like this, super undisciplined, not following a routine, just going all, 
over the place in life, you know, anxiety, depression, just not knowing what I wanted. It's like, I want to help you guys discover your purpose because I can assure you now that I've discovered what I want to do with my life, everything is just so much more crystal clear. And guys, literally, I'm not kidding you overnight, gave up everything, gave up junk food, processed food, um, added sugars, gluten, and it's not hard because I have a reason to do that. And that's why it's so important for you to have your why and have your vision. Because if you are just wanting to get in the gym and wanting to do these things and you don't really have an idea why, you're just like, I know I should be doing those. That's not enough, man. You have to dig deep. Uh, I recently had a coworker come to me and he was, you know, making comments on, you know, what I was bringing for lunch. And you'll notice that, man, like as someone who's fit, when you're around people who don't work out, like you make them feel a certain type of way because, you know, they're eating fast food and here you are bringing in like your healthy food. So, you know, he started asking me about it and that was my time to really hit his pain points. I'm like, you know, you're really successful in your career and in your business, but why, like, why don't you transfer that over into your physical? I'm like, if you want to even grow more, it's like build your body out, man. You're going to be healthier. You're going to be stronger. You're going to be more confident. It's like you have all these things, but then you neglect the one thing that can make all of those better, which is your physique. And so I'm like, you're eating all this shit food. You probably have brain fog. And the thing is, is this guy is already successful. And that's what I see time and time again, as I see these people with the nice clothes and nice cars and everything, but look at their body, man. It's like, if you would just prioritize your body first and then these other things, it's just going to amplify it. It's just going to amplify and the amount of respect you get from people when you're in shape because it's the one thing you can't buy. So I started to hit all his pain points and just tell him like, hey, man, imagine, you know, what you could become, you know, and then he, he started asking me more about training. Now I'm training a coworker, and it, it feels good, man. It feels good to be around people who are trying to better themselves. But sometimes people just need to hear the truth of like, hey, when you get out of the shower and you look at yourself in the mirror, like, are you happy? Are you confident? Or are you disgusted? You go to the beach. I've used this example a lot. You go to the beach and you don't want to take your shirt off. You're embarrassed. It's like, figure out your why. That is what is going to fuel you every single day. And so my why is I want to be a fitness entrepreneur. I want to have, you know, an income by helping people and so that's what I'm ultimately doing now. So all of these other things for me are easy to give up because I had this ultimate why. So day one or one day, find your why, get after it, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Peace.